been? How have you been? It's been such a long time. I can't believe we haven't talked in so long. I'd love to talk and catch up sometime. Actually, do you have a minute to talk right now? Hi there. It sure has been a while. I've been doing okay. What's up? How is everything with you? Ugh, come on! You are so low energy! Always! Where's your excitement? Sorry, you know me. I've never been much of an excitable person. <laughs> well, cut it out! Don't be so boring! Who wants to be around a killjoy? You really need to learn to loosen up a bit and enjoy yourself once in a while. <laughs> Maybe if you were a little more of a social butterfly like me, you wouldn't be so boring. <laughs> you could learn a thing or two from me. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, what did you want to talk about exactly? It's been a while, like you said. I'm kind of surprised to hear from you. Is everything alright? What do you mean? Why are you surprised? We haven't really kept in touch at all since we graduated from high school. Actually, I don't think we've even talked once since then. I didn't think you still had my number, or remembered me for that matter. Is there anything specific that you wanted to talk about that made you want to reach out? Or were you just reminiscing on our high school days and thought of all classmates? Oh my gosh, you're right! I almost forgot what I was going to tell you. I was so caught up with how unexcited you were to hear from me. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I'm borrowing that messy looking empty space by your house for parking. Wait, what? Empty space? Are you talking about the lot right next to my house? Yeah, that's the one. That vacant lot right by your home. Um, okay. But why are you doing that? It's not exactly vacant, but technically I'm also not the one that owns the land either. I think my grandfather owns it. It was nice of you to give me a heads up, but I can't really give you permission to use it for anything. Oh, I see. Then please mention it to him when you can so he knows, too. I'll be meeting a few friends from school, and it's close enough that they can all park there for when we meet up. It'll just be about 20 people or so. They'll probably all drive themselves, too. Thanks for letting him know. All of them? Are you saying 20 individual cars? Yeah, just about. We're going on a trip as a little class reunion, and it's a really convenient spot for us to use. Oh, there's a reunion trip? Oh, well, sort of. It's like a junior high school reunion. I've been organizing everything, so I've been so busy. I see. And about those 20 cars that you're going to try to fit in the lot. Yeah, what about it? It might be a few more, or less. I'm not exactly sure. But I think it's about 20. It's not going to be a problem to use the space, right? We'll only be gone for about three days or so. It isn't that long, so it shouldn't be too much trouble. Thanks for taking care of everything for me. I don't know if I would say that it won't be any trouble. In fact, I'm not sure this will go over well at all. It'll be totally fine. Don't worry. It would have cost everyone way too much to pay for parking at the airport for so many days. Carpooling between everyone would have been such a headache too. I can't even imagine. <laughs> I was lucky I noticed the empty lot driving by the other day when I remembered that you lived right next door. It's close enough for everyone, and even closer to the airport. It's so convenient. I don't think I could have found a more perfect location. I've planned it out so it'll be much more efficient for us this way. Besides, it's just an empty dusty old lot. No one is using it, so it's totally fine. <laughs> 
The next few days are holidays, too. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Thanks again for your help. You're really saving us here. I know it's short notice, but there really wasn't any other solution I could come up with. But I don't understand. I really don't think it's going to be okay to use the space. That's why you said you would talk to your grandfather for me. Everything will be fine. Well, maybe you'd like to talk to him yourself, then, if you're so confident that everything will be fine. I'm not in town this week, and I won't be back soon. I'm not going to be able to go there to make sure that it's okay, or to keep an eye on anything. Sorry, but that just isn't going to work for me. Why not? It's going to have to, Natalie. Because our plane just landed a bit ago. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You're already on the plane? It's only three days. It's fine. Don't worry about everything so much. Just let him know everything I told you. Natalie, you can't just leave all of those cars there. I've got to go. Enjoy your holidays. <laughs> Mom, are you still at work? I need your help. It's kind of important. What's wrong, Catherine? What happened? Are you okay? Where are you? It's about the lot next to the house. The lot? What about it? Are you at home or are you still at work? Are there a bunch of cars parked in that lot next door? Why would there be anyone parking in the lot next door? No, I'm not at work right now. I'm out shopping at the moment. I'm sorry, I can't check to see if there's anyone there. What about Grandpa? Do you know what he's doing right now? I don't know. I can't say for sure. If I were to guess, I would say he's probably in a meeting right now. You know he's always busy. Oh, jeez. Of course he's busy. Actually, speaking of that lot next door... We'll probably be using it for a few days. Who's using it? And what are they using it for? I think Dad mentioned to me that a friend of his needed to use the space for something. Do you remember who it was? Was it his friend Owen? Yes, I think that's who it was. When did he say that he was going to be using it? Ah, uh, this is such a mess. You never told me what was wrong, Catherine. Are you okay? Why did you ask if there were a bunch of cars parked in the lot? A classmate of mine from high school told me that she was going on a trip with her friends and they decided to use the space instead of a parking lot because it was more convenient for them. I only just heard about it a few minutes ago. I'm so sorry. What? She never mentioned it to you before? Nope, not once. I thought maybe it'd be fine if I mentioned it to Grandpa, assuming he didn't mind. That was just wishful thinking, though. I didn't know that Grandpa was going to lend the space to his friend. I'll mention it to him in the meantime and see what he says. Please try to get in touch with that acquaintance of yours that didn't have the decency to ask you about this beforehand. I will. I'm sorry about all of this, Mom. Natalie, I need to talk to you. If you don't find some way to move those cars soon, I'm afraid there's going to be a bit of a mess to deal with. What are you talking about? Didn't you say you were going to talk to your grandfather? Besides, it's a little too late to start making demands like that. <laughs> I told you, I'm already gone. I told you it wasn't my property to give you permission to use in the first place. I've tried to get a hold of him to see if it would be alright. But apparently he is letting a friend of his use the space for the next few days. He is that ugly old lot? For what? I'm asking you, please. You need to come back as soon as possible to figure out how you're going to move all those cars. I don't care how you do it, but they can't stay there during your trip. 
I told you, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to be back to take care of anything till after the trip. I've used the spot to park before and it was totally fine. There didn't end up being any problems. So, what's wrong with using it for just a couple of days now? It should be fine. Whatever they had in mind will be fine with a bit less space. No, I'm telling you, it isn't going to be fine. You can't just use it whenever you want to, either. It could get in the way of something important. Something really important? <laughs> like what? What is the big deal? Are all the neighborhood elderly getting together to play cards or something? Is that the something important that you're referring to? If so, they'll just have to be a little patient for the next few days and find another empty lot to use. Maybe they can all go for a walk in the park or sit on their porch. <laughs> you know, anything to rest their weary old bones. How could you say something so rude? You were just asking me not too long ago to bend over backwards for you to be able to use the space. Oh, if you even think about calling a tow truck, I'll never forgive you. I should let you know, the friends I've got together with for the trip were in my main circle back in the day, remember? I'm sure you haven't forgotten the trouble they used to cause. Do you understand where I'm going with this? If you even think about doing something behind my back. This isn't a situation you're going to be able to get yourself out of with empty threats. You need to figure out how you're going to get back here and move all your friends' cars. Are you dense? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not going to be back for a few days? I'm trying to enjoy catching up with some friends and you are being so incredibly irritating. How am I supposed to enjoy my vacation with you blowing up my phone? It's getting old, Catherine. Natalie, this isn't a joke. You shouldn't take this situation lightly at all. I'm trying to tell you that this is serious. The person who's supposed to be using the lot isn't someone you should cause trouble with. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you trying to make threats now? You're a piece of work. What's going to happen if I don't rush back to move those pesky little cars, huh? Is he going to tell us about all the scary stuff he did back in the day to try to intimidate me? I'd love to see some ancient fossil try to threaten me for parking my car in his empty lot. It's not like that at all. I'm not kidding. Please listen to me for once. He really isn't someone you should mess around with. I don't care if you have to come back or call someone else to do it for you if you can. Just move the car somewhere else. Please. I'm done with this conversation. Bye-bye, Catherine. Natalie, I'm trying to help you. Listen to me. You have to fix this. You don't realize how serious this is. Stop calling me! That's so annoying! I'm trying to enjoy my vacation! If you're going to keep this up, I'm going to have to block your number until I get back from my trip. I can't have my phone ringing every other minute. Natalie, I'm seriously trying to help you out here. Don't just blow me off! Catherine, what's the deal? I can't get my car out like this. What is your problem? Answer me. Hello. I need to move my car, Catherine. What are you doing? Hello, Natalie. How was your trip? Don't ignore my question. What did you do? What is the meaning of all of this? Now my car is ruined! What's the problem? I don't know what you're talking about. Did you put up all these rows of cones? 
I just tried to drive through them all while you were ignoring me. What kind of traffic cones are these? My bumper is completely smashed. Ah, oh, I see. That sounds about right to me, based on what I'd heard. But why? This is absolutely nuts. And what kind of traffic cones are these? They should have just collapsed like any others when I drove over them. I'm not there. I told you that before. I don't know what's been going on. I only know the bits that I've heard from my grandfather. You still aren't back yet? And what did he tell you? What did he do to my car? I can't confirm any of this because, again, I only know what I've heard. But I believe the cones that he had set up happen to have concrete in them. The cones have concrete in them? Why didn't he just use normal cones? Maybe he wanted something a little more durable? It certainly wasn't something he did by accident. Why did he do this? What am I supposed to do? Who is going to fix my car now that the entire front bumper is totally destroyed? Who's going to cover all of the repair costs? I'm going to have to have all these parts replaced. I need my car towed now, too. You're joking, right? Do you really think you're in any kind of position to be asking those kinds of questions? Of course I am! What are you even talking about? You were the one who decided to park multiple vehicles on someone else's property without permission. You also took it upon yourself to attempt to drive through multiple traffic cones. Do you really have anyone you can place blame on other than yourself? You can't be serious. You really don't get it, do you? Are you really that stupid? Do you realize what you've gotten yourself into? Who you're messing with? I told you who I went on this trip with. Do you think they are just going to let you get away with this? By the way, that reminds me. It's going to be about $40,000 to cover the costs for damages. What damages? The only thing damaged right now is my car. It's on behalf of the company that my grandfather's friend is running. The space was going to be used for an event over the next few days. Well, that was the plan originally. Some idiot had parked her car along with all of her friends and took up the entire lot. So there wasn't enough space. Because it would have taken so long to tow every single car that was parked there, the only other option was to quickly find another location to hold the event. They were fortunate enough to find another space to rent and hold the event through other connections they had. So what's the big deal then? Doesn't sound like there was any issue to me. They had the stupid event. So what's the problem? How can they demand any kind of compensation when everything worked out how they wanted it to? Are you clueless? Who do you think had to cover all the costs? Finding another space to rent at the last minute costs a lot more than if it were planned ahead of time. The start of the event was also delayed due to the sudden changes in plans, and vendors needed compensation for the lost time they were originally promised. All of the advertising done was for the original location, not the new one. Last-minute changes needed to be made to accommodate for this as well. The new location was also significantly far from the first location. Transportation needed to be organized as well. This was also another last-minute change that is difficult to set up when it hasn't been done so in advance. So all of those costs, in addition to the transportation that was set up, again, all of this done at the last minute, it comes up to about $40,000. You're joking, right? You can't be serious. Are they actually going to make a claim for that much money? I'm sure you'll be receiving the official documents in the mail in the near future. You're unbelievable. Do you think you can do this to me? Do you think you can just get away with this? I've not done anything to you. I'm also not making any filing for damages. I told you that's all on behalf of the company that had an event almost ruined because of your poorly planned vacation. If that's the kind of game you're going to play, fine. I guess I'll just have to use the ace up my sleeve. And what are you referring to that you think will save you from this situation? Where do you think my dad works, Catherine? Does that really matter? Do you think that is going to help you? I don't think it's going to help me. I know it will. 
My father works for one of the most reputable civil engineering companies in the country. He's employed at Blackrock Corporation, and I'm sure you've heard of it. I'll be more than fine. Owen Stone, the president, is a local celebrity, too. If you think my dad is going to let you and your grandfather's pal pull any of this, you're mistaken. You'd have to be a complete idiot to start trouble with someone working under such a reputable and wealthy business owner. I really don't think I need to tell you, though. Surely you understand what you are getting yourself into. <laughs> hmm. How should I put this? What? Are you trying to admit that you're totally beat? <laughs> Seems like you've gotten yourself into a bigger mess than you thought. No, not exactly. My grandfather was letting Mr. Stone borrow the space that you decided to use for your emergency parking lot. Wait, what? It can't be the same person. Oh boy, I had no idea. I didn't realize that your father was working at the same company as the person that you kind of screwed over. No, hang on. Wait a second. You can't possibly mean the same person that my dad works for. There has to be some mistake. He's my grandfather's childhood friend. They've known each other almost their entire lives. He always treated me and my family well when he would come visit us. He's practically a part of our family. But you don't really mean that, Mr. Stone, do you? Uh, sorry, I got a little sidetracked. But yes, we are talking about the same person. This can't be real. This is unbelievable! What am I going to do? If it really is the same person, I'm done for. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. I think your best bet is to call home and let your dad know the situation. Glad I could help clarify a few things for you. You're going to need a miracle to get yourself out of this. So, good luck. Wait a minute. You have to help me. Isn't there anything you can do to help me get out of this? What are you talking about? What do you expect me to do? Can't you put in a good word for me with Mr. Stone? You could explain to him what happened and everything will be okay. Why would I stick my neck out for you when you threatened me? You got yourself into this mess all on your own from the beginning. And I tried to tell you what you were getting yourself into. How was I supposed to know that this is what you meant? Good luck paying off the 40,000 in damages. Apparently, Natalie had told all of her friends that she brought along on her trip that she had already received permission to park in the lot that they used. This made it difficult for her to try to convince all of the other members of the trip to split the cost for damages amongst everyone. But because she was the one arranging everything, they all left her to find out how to cover the cost entirely on her own. As for Natalie's father, who happened to work for Mr. Stone's company, much to his surprise, he was not fired but felt that he was now indebted to his boss because of the trouble she had caused. Natalie's father was determined to do everything he could to make sure that she learned from her mistakes. He refused to help her pay the damages, and she ended up having to pick up an extra job to afford the bill. Sometimes she still messages me to beg me to help her out. But I believe she still has a lot to learn from her mistakes, so it might just be best to block her for the time being. <laughs>